for one remaining place to become a core nation next season. And here is our playoff tournament. So Kenya and Uruguay in the box seat at the moment after their opening wins. Top two will progress to effectively a winner take all final for a place as a core team on the series next season. So we will swing over to Kenya, who were winners in game one, beating Canada impressively 24-19. They are in the all-red strip. Tomo in their chain shirt of white. Tomo, very narrow defeat to Uruguay. Kenya, it was Kevin Wikisa. Jersey number six, three tries. That's one from Edmund Anya. That's got them up over the top of Canada. Tonga, winners of the Challenger Series to earn their place here and they scored 57 tries over those two tournaments. Look out for the likes of Kyron Thol-Wifalal. He impressed the young man. Game one. Philip Atati has joined me for this one. This, this playoff series is stressing me out, Phil. <laughs> I really feel for all of these teams in Kenya Corner getting into oh. their work. Oh my gosh, yeah, aren't they just... And they just about carried them through. No one really seen the result against Canada. But they earned it. it well deserved. They just wanted it. Just the all. Tonga. Oh gosh. They, was it stolen from them in the dying seconds or were they outplayed? Well, it depends which fan you are. Both teams bringing their AP. Playoff series match underway. Tonga in the white. Right. Kenya in the red. Must win, really, for Tonga already. And they're going to earn a nice deal here through their captain, Sioni Kapoor. Fifteen, twelve. they were beaten by Uruguay with a last second try. So a chance to attack early here for Rodney Thomas here, one of the try scorers. He's got a man on the shoulder, can't a couple. Tonga can see the penalty. Stop and change direction. Spinning around. Here is one of the real threads. Look at Kevin Wakisa striding through the top of defense. Chase coming across. He'll have so much. Kevin Wakisa <laughs> continues his try scoring form at the exact right time for Kenya. Yeah, Wakisa, he's been absolutely standout for Kenya. Got three tries this morning. So that makes it four in total. Players there, no one wants to tap them. Such a long ranging stride. Yeah, he's still really quick off the mark. He's got the physicality as well. They always have wonderful supporters. There is a big Kenya corner this weekend. It's like a Kenya half stadium. It really is. <laughs> Kevin Oikisa got them rolling. There they are. Seven points to nil. It's tricky. Apple coming out of the shadows into the sun for Tonga looking right up into it. Couldn't control the restart again. So, all possession here for Kenya. So here is this playoff series, Kenya on the top at the moment, which difference could become a factor. Each team will play each other one front, and then the top two on points will go through to a winner take all decided tomorrow afternoon. At the moment, it's Kenya looking good to go through. Set. Four. Kenya allows them to set away again as Edmund Anya, one of the try scorers in game one. Just the ball to the line, across for Brian Tunga. Stepping out of one tackle is Alvin Oceano, and here comes Kenya, and here comes Wakisa again. Chalk up another one for Kevin, Kevin Wakisa. Absolutely on fire. Really good team play though from Kenya. They're just so into what poor possession is. They had the majority of it against Canada and they recall wards at the moment. They managed to put enough defensive pressure to Tonga to keep hold of that ball. Simple stuff in the end. 
Talk about fronting up in the big time moment. That has been that man, Kevin Wakesa. For Kenya so far on day one here in the playoff tournament in London. Five tries. And not even one and a half matches. <laughs> This time it's brought down by Tonga. They're a dangerous side. They've got a lot of attacking threats. Don't write them off just yet in the Challenger Series when they beat Kenya in Sydney earlier this year. But Kenya have blown them off that ball again. And here they come. The footwork is brilliant. And then it's just root one up the middle for Brian Tonga. They are making Tonga pay at the moment. Gosh, they really are. Kenya has just brought this incredible intensity. I mean, they're fully aware of what is at stake here, and they are completely transferring that into the way they are playing. They're taking advantage of any opportunity. There's a lovely little snipe there around the ruck. Opening five or so minutes for Kenya. They have taken command of the playoff series match. 19 points to nil. When you're ready, tell me off in the time. Monty to restart. It didn't play last week in Toulouse. It's on one of the regulars in this Kenyan team. That high into the London sky. Knocked into top and hands. Really nicely done by Kapoor. To that high ball, and now it's ripped away by Mull. A chance here for Tonga to attack, and this is the young man who's got it on a string. Dalmoifalau still going. Oh, Kyron Dalmoifalau put the ball outside for Mull. Now Tonga on to attack really for the first time. It's in the hands of John Eker up the middle. Eker, first chance to attack and he goes straight to the middle. Tonga's little playmaker. John Eker gets them back into it. Well, you said it there, their first real opportunity to attack. And they've come away with points. No Tonga can play, but at the moment they are so well at starting with possession. to stay on his feet there, I do not know, but the most important thing is he put that off load away. A nice injection of pace there for the up in the middle. Kyron, old boy, 20 years of age, he scored 12 tries in the Challenger Series as he converts his try. He set that one up and it's got them back into an important score with a minute to go in the half. He brings this one down to Kenya. This picture is the line. See what Kenya's response is. See these teams have played each other twice this season once in Hamilton and once in Sydney, and it's one apiece. It's been toggled with the invitational side. Skipping out of one tackle is it, but Anya G is hard to put down. Anya looks long legs. Making it hard to put down or to, you know, this barrels over bodies. He's done that to plenty of players on the series over the years, Elwood or you know. Now they look to spread wide to Kenya. Great hands, brilliant hands. I don't know how he's held on to that. Kevin Wakisa is going to streak away for a second hand trick.
He continued to set standards and win matches when the pressure's on. I think it's just uh, going, doing our small jobs well. We always talk about our small jobs, so continually building those. Pretty much it. Top man, well done. Thanks for your time, Weaver. Thank you. and we are in the playoff series. A place at stake as a core team next season. Uruguay, Canada coming up. We must win for Canada. And at the moment, though, it's Kenya 26-7. And we can go down to their coach, Damien McGrath. Damien, what have you given Kevin Wakesa in the last week? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to double check because we'll give it to him every week if that's the case. <laughs> well, you could bottle him up at the moment. What's been the mindset, the attitude of your team coming into what is a very tense and stressful situation? Oh, very tense. And um, the thing that we, we seem to have found is our focus because we can play great rugby, but it's just a matter of focus if it goes Kevin again. Um, <laughs> No, we, can, we can play some great stuff, but now we've thrown the ball away, and that's always been our Achilles heel all year. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you would have loved that focus a little earlier in the season, but obviously oh, job's not done here and tomorrow as well, so how do you maintain that now? Well, we, we've had to treat each game as a final, so we've taken it all as the final, and that's the only way you can do it. It's an old cliche, it's a one game at a time, but in this particular format of the moment, that's all you can do. Well, look, we'll let you go, Damien. Thanks so much for your time, and all the awesome. very best. Thanks, guys. We have to strum straight. Oh, Kevin Wakesa was in again there for a moment. Time off. 13, 1, 3. 1, 3. 13. 26 points to 7. Fall on Tongan. They really need to find that fight back now. The team that's won their way through the Challenger Series. They beat Germany in round one in the final and then were runners up in round two to Belgium, but it's called 57 tries across those weekends. It's bonus territory for them, but love to make their way through as a core team after working so hard to get to this point. But away goes Edmund Arnier again, swatting away Tonga defenders and is having to chase and chase. Around the corner comes Alvin Otieno. So hard to stop, but nicely put down by Tapuelu Elu for Tonga. Some space here wide. Anya ducking under a couple. No, concedes a penalty, Tonga. When they are playing with an intensity and a focus that we haven't seen all season from Kenya. Here's Otieno. Even all flow for his captain, Nelson Oyo. A little change of direction. Try for Kenya this time. Now, Sonoyo. Yeah, they definitely are. They've raised their game, and like you say, it's a shame it's got to this point for them to raise it, but still, they're doing it at the right time. If sure, sure they can go to the edges, they can play that direct carry as well. We've seen that physical strength. I always say Kenya look like they should be one of the most perfect seven teams. You know, their physicality, their athleticism. It's just about their game sense sometimes. Oh. 31 points to seven. Kenya. Oh, oh. Really looking strong now for a top two finish in this tour because they'll have another match tomorrow, though. It's not a done deal. Or will Tonga be out of it, such as the format is straight in the ground mentioned? Time on. Thirty-one seven. There is that live ladder. Kenya. That points difference important to Uruguay and Canada. That's up next. I feel like that might be must win territory for Canada. Here's the exciting player. It's an old Falau. He's got that ball away again to Johnny Cat. He can just accelerating away, looking for the support, but he won't need it. And Tonga again showing that they can bust out and score. And it's Johnny Cat who gets the second. 
just got such fantastic feet, a real low centre of gravity as well. Again, it's that youngster creating, isn't it? This exciting future. Future talent here for Tonga. Three minutes to play. Not completely done yet, but they will need to get a real wriggle on here. Tonga. shoulder. Jeff Oluok, the policeman, is going to be creator for Edmund Anya. And that'll be enough to seal it for Kenya surely now. Still a couple of minutes to play. Have a rest, son. Enjoy it. Because this Kenyan team have put on a show. Incredible dominance from Kenya on day one. Exactly what they needed. It was one of those important competitions. Play there, nice awareness, just knows how to suck in the defense, knows there's not loading runner. Lovely bit of sevens play. <laughs> Take a seat, have a rest. Tonga 
the playoff bench. 